there's a lot of stuff out here that I do that doesn't make it on camera into stories that I share on YouTube. I'm just not sure that people would be interested in watching me mow the yard, for instance. There's also things like uh, trimming out dead branches or tree limbs that are in my way. You know, things take a lot of work but they're not that interesting to share on YouTube sometimes. Well, I've established some trails around our property, and for the most part, I haven't put that on camera either, because it's kind of like mowing, just, you know, driving the brush hog around to, to clear out places to, to get around. But I've got a project that I'm gonna start on today that I think will be interesting. I'm establishing a new trail down and around our old barn. Now this old barn really isn't functional. It's just kind of cool. So it's not an essential item on our to-do list for homesteading. But I do like to be able to easily get around and, and have you know eyeballs on the land, see what's going on. And I do like being able to see that old barn. And right now it's kind of overgrown and I can't really get too close to it because of all the really tall grass and everything. It's just kind of a hassle to, to go over there. But once I have trails, it'll be much easier to go over there and, and take care of some things to start with. Let's take a look at the path that I want this trail to follow. There's the house in the main yard. This is the trail that heads off to my composting station. This little side trail right through here goes down and around one of our ponds over there. So this path is going to cut right through all this tall grass. It's going to skirt by the barn right there. All of these little volunteer trees need to come out. I'm sure these volunteer trees are providing some benefit with their roots and their shade creating an ecosystem out here. But they're mostly just a nuisance really. I'll be happy to get rid of them. A lot of these trees will need to be gotten rid of. I'm not going to take care of that today. But I will take out a few branches that are Definitely going to be in my way. Right about here, just on the other side of the barn, if you could see it through there, is where the seasonal creek starts. The spring here starts up when we get a lot of rain. We haven't had a lot of rain lately. It's been pretty dry. So this is a good time to establish the trail. It's really not a very well established creek type situation. It's mostly, mostly just a little channel and when we get a lot of rain, it kind of floods out here and gets sort of swampy. So having dry land, having dry conditions to do this is good. A lot of these weeds out here are really pretty tall and substantial at the base. The brush hog might be able to just run right over them, but I think I'll probably clip those back before doing that too, just to be on the safe side. I think I'll probably 
have the trail go a little bit on this side of where the seasonal creek runs. No sense in putting a trail right where the creek is going to be. Just have it be flooded out all the time. And this will be where the new trail will end. It'll just cross the path of this seasonal creek at sort of a relatively, relatively flat and open area. And rejoin this path that goes down to one of our ponds. I like to get started on these kind of projects early in the morning. The sun hasn't quite come up yet and it's nice and cool. When it gets up to the upper 80s in the afternoon, I generally stop and try to take it a little bit easier. I'm just not used to the heat and humidity out here. And I don't want to push myself too hard. If you're curious, stick around till the end. I've got something kind of special that I'm going to treat myself to.
that was one of those projects that I've been wanting to make time for. Remember I mentioned the special treat? This is the first watermelon we've grown here. Good day for watermelon. Not too bad. It's nice and crisp. It's got a pretty good flavor. I've had better, but I've definitely had worse. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.